The moments immediately after an acid attack are crucial. It makes a difference between having life-changing injuries or lesser scarring. It's why the NHS has now issued guidance of what to do if you come across someone who's been attacked. And there are three simple steps to follow. Helen Drew can tell us uh, what they are, but before that, let me tell you, her report does contain some distressing images from the start. Scarred for life. Jamil Mukhtar and his cousin were victims of an acid attack in Beckton earlier this year. My face started melting, my clothes started to burn, uh, my shorts started sticking to me, there was smoke coming out of the seats. Corrosive substances were used in over 450 crimes in the capital last year, a huge increase on previous years according to the Met. The growing number of attacks means the NHS and burn specialists are now giving advice to victims and witnesses. Report it. Treat as an emergency, the witness can call 999 while the victim concentrates on their burn. Remove contaminated clothes carefully and rinse affected areas under running water until help arrives. Specialist burn units like this one in Chelsea and Westminster are busier than ever. Doctors say the moments immediately after an attack are crucial. Providing appropriate first aid in a timely fashion can have a dramatic effect in the ultimate outcome of these injuries not only because we will reduce the immediate effect of the trauma of the acid on the skin, but also we will reduce the possibility of unwanted life or limb changing injuries. Earlier this month, shopkeepers in Hackney started signing up to a voluntary scheme to restrict the sale of products containing ammonia and acid, the first of its kind. They're refusing to sell to anyone under 21. Currently in the UK, there's no age restriction on buying these items. The Home Secretary, Amber Rudd, has ordered a review to ensure everything possible is being done to prevent acid attacks. They are still rare, but scenes like this, the aftermath of an attack in Knightsbridge, are becoming more familiar. Today's advice, report, remove and rinse. Helen Drew, BBC London.